Hi, my name is Peter Ong, and welcome to Backyard Birding. Today, we will be taking a look at one of the smaller species of birds in Malaysia, the sunbird, or locally known as burung kelicap. Many Malaysians are not aware that these small nectar drinkers are actually quite commonly found in and around garden areas. Here in my little patch of garden, I have grown some Indian head gingers which the sunbirds really, really love to drink from. Another type of plant that you can grow at home to attract these beautiful birds is the sinister sounding devil's backbone. One species of sunbird that regularly drops by my garden here in the middle of hectic Kuala Lumpur is the olive-backed sunbird or burung kelicap dekat biru. The male has a wonderfully iridescent throat bib that glows blue and purple in the sunlight. A daily visitor, his cheeping calls in the late morning always let me know that he has arrived. He has also brought over a little young miss lately to join him on his feeds. The female is not as colourful as the male, but a bright yellow tummy is still a delight to watch as she flits amongst the shrubs in her search of flowers. Fun fact, sunbirds are not hummingbirds. One point of differentiation is that the hummingbirds are able to hover and feed, whilst our sunbirds prefer to perch and drink. There are 11 species of sunbirds here in Malaysia found in different parts of the country like the black-throated sunbird or burung kelicap tekak hitam, which can be found in the higher elevations like Fraser's Hill. The male is an absolute riot of colour. Although he does have a small patch of black on his lower throat, he has a maroon mantle with a metallic violet crown, a gorgeous long blue tail, a bib of metallic blue that appears black in the poor jungle light. He also loves flying into gardens to drink nectar and as you can see, he also loves a refreshing bath. Forests like these are really vital because these green belts are where the sunbirds need to build their nests. Like this brown-throated sunbird or burung kelicap mayang kelapa. Although he only has olive cheeks and a pale brown bib, it is his iridescent green crown with shiny violet tinges on the wings that make him a standout. One of the most striking sunbirds that can be found in this green belt surrounded by a sea of highways is the gorgeous ruby-cheeked sunbird. It is not enough for the male to be adorned with shiny metallic plumes of aqua, green, copper and blue, as well as a bright yellow tummy. His pride and joy is in fact the string of delicate pale ruby feathers on his cheeks glistening in the sunlight. The female may not be as colourful, but their fast flying and loud cheeps are still a delight to watch. If you reside close to forests or plantations, you may also be able to spot one of the more brilliant sunbirds in Malaysia, the Crimson Sunbird or Kelicap Separaja. Although largely a nectar feeder, it has also been known to consume insects, especially when feeding its young. The male and female work together to construct a nest made up of strips of dried leaves and small twigs. These are woven and held together by a combination of spider's webs and butterfly cocoons. The female here can be seen to be standing on one leg while her other foot grasps tightly on a piece of dried leaf. She wrestles to extract these strands of silk until she finally has enough to bring back to the nest to act as glue for the other building materials. I hope this episode on sunbirds encourages you to keep an eye out for these small and colourful beauties. You don't need a pair of binoculars really to see them, you just need to be a little bit more observant. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to share the joy of sunbirds with your friends and family. See you in the next episode, stay safe and happy bird watching!